novena for Pentecost. Come, our Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle them in the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who has taught the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant that in the gift of that same Spirit we may be always truly wise and ever rejoicing in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. With boldness let us approach the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace as a timely help. Alleluia. Holy Mass this morning is offered for the repose of the soul of Father Joseph Fan. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned. In my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May your spirit, O Lord, we pray, imbue us powerfully with spiritual gifts, that he may give us a mind pleasing to you and graciously conform us to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Since the tribune wanted to know what precise charge the Jews were bringing against Paul, he freed him and gave orders for a meeting of the chief priests and the entire Sanhedrin. Then he brought Paul down and stood him in front of them. Now Paul was well aware that one section was made up of Sadducees and the other of Pharisees. So he called out in the Sanhedrin, Brothers, I am a Pharisee, and the son of a Pharisee. It is for our hope in the resurrection of the dead that I am on trial. As soon as he said this, a dispute broke up between the Pharisees and the Sadducees, and the assembly was split between the two parties. For the Sadducees say that there is neither resurrection, nor angel, nor spirit, while the Pharisees accept all three. The shouting grew louder, and some of the scribes from the Pharisees' party stood up and protested strongly. We find nothing wrong with this man. Suppose a spirit has spoken to him, or an angel. Feeling was running high, and the tribune, afraid that they would tear Paul to pieces, ordered his troops to go down and haul him out and bring him into the fortress. Next night, the Lord appeared to him and said, Courage, you have borne witness for me in Jerusalem. Now you must do the same in Rome. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Preserve me, God. I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my God. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you yourself who are my prize. 
I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord ever in my sight. Since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad. Even my body shall rest in safety. For you will not leave my soul among the dead, nor let your beloved know decay. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, at your right hand, happiness forever. Alleluia, alleluia. I will send you the spirit of truth, says the Lord. He will lead you to the complete truth. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Holy Father, I pray not only for these, but for those also who through their words will believe in me. May they all be one. Father, may they be one in us, as you are in me and I am in you so that the world may believe it was you who sent me. I have given them the glory you gave to me, that they may be one as we are one. With me in them, and you in me, may they be so completely one that the world will realise that it was you who sent me, and that I have loved them as much as you love me. Father, I want those you have given me to be with me, where I am, so that they may always see the glory you have given me because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Father, righteous one, the world has not known you, but I have known you, and these have known that you have sent me. I have made your name known to them and will continue to make it known so that the love with which you loved me may be in them and so that I may be in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, with joy at Christ's resurrection and ascension into heaven, let us pray earnestly to God, the Almighty Father, for some of our needs. Let us pray for the world at this time, that those sufferings as a result of this pandemic may find solace and comfort in the heart of Christ the Shepherd. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who work in our health service, those who care for the sick and all key workers in our community that they may receive fortitude and courage. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all those who suffer in mind, in body or in soul that they may feel the closeness of Christ who reigns now in glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And for all those individuals and families suffering as a result of the loss of loved ones, especially those within our own parish family, that they may be comforted by the thought of the resurrection and eternal life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O God, who with your Son now reigns with you in glory, we ask you to open our hearts to receive the gifts of your Holy Spirit as we make our prayers to you today, through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples, and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world. For by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by his death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we were nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Alan, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, a merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb. Of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual communion. I wish, Lord, to receive you now with the purity, humility, and devotion with which your most holy mother received you, with the spirit and fervour of the saints.
I tell you the truth, it is for your good that I go, for if I do not go away, the paraclete will not come to you, says the Lord. Alleluia. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, we pray, enlighten us by the instruction they bring, and restore us through our participation in them, that we may merit the gifts of the Spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your Spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail, our life, our sweetness and our hope. To thee we cry for vanished children. To thee we send up our sons, mourning and weeping in this way of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thy eyes and mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy Jesus. And Clement, us with love, O sweet Virgin Mary. Holy Michael, our angel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness, the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Father, by the power of God, thrust down into hell Satan and all the wicked spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Our Lady of the Lord's pray for us. St. Joseph pray for us. Holy Guardian Angel, 